Hello folks, welcome to another video and uh, I guess I, I have another video that I'm just not uploading so hopefully it gets uploaded uh, like I said right now the slowness is the upload to YouTube alright so let's go and get this done this is a uh, I'll be smoking my uh, about like a pack of 20 or a box of 20 of these the Nub Connecticut's so they are a light cigar and uh, you know, I should be able to smoke it through without any uh, you know, any hitch. Let's go ahead and toast it. How's everybody doing? Hopefully everyone's been enjoying their smoke. I know in this economic times, of course I bought these cigars you know, before the uh, financial crunch hit everybody. Nice smooth draw. There we go. A nice smooth draw. And now I've had nubs that, that are just horrible draw. It's like trying to suck a. It's like trying to suck. Uh, like trying to, trying to suck milkshake through a straw or something like that. Though I, I don't. I don't drink much milkshakes. There we go. I don't like a little bit of touch up needed. So local news had a. Of course, it's, it's like really, really cool now during the nighttime when the sun goes down. I was standing, so I had a power outage. And of course, <clears throat> it wasn't a rolling blackout, it was an actual power outage. So after the power went out, 10, min 10 minutes later, I got a text from the electrical company saying, hey, there's a power outage in your area. You know, uh, we estimate an hour to two hours. And it was about an hour and a half. So I was outside with the dogs, you know, and I was uh, standing on the side of the uh, house where the, uh, you know, the where the sun beats on the on the brick, pretty much all day. Standing there, I'm like, man, I feel some heat in my back, <laughs> and it was the heat coming off of the brick. And yeah, and it's not even that hot these days. This is, of course, we're now officially in, in autumn. Hey, old hound dog. So we're now officially in autumn. So. Now, it's still in the 80s and 90s, it's like low 90s, but imagine if it was like 100 degree or 100 plus, you know, those those are brick from your house or absorb all of that heat all day long. So yeah, so it wasn't a rolling blackout, you know, got the text from the electrical company, hey, you know, you're going to be out for a, a possible hour, two hours, uh, it's an actual power outage. They didn't say what, uh, could be equipment upgrade. You know, uh, 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 it could be a drunk, you know, hitting um, a, a pole, you know, a, a tree branch, which I've had in my backyard here. A tree branch uh, uh, touching a line, bringing the line down. In my case, it was a tree branch <coughs> that um, during a storm, of course, it was windy. Uh, the branch uh, hit one of the transformer. I heard a loud boom, <laughs> you know, during a storm, and I knew it wasn't a, uh, I knew it wasn't thunder because the, you know, the, the boom came from the wrong ground level, and the power went out. <clears throat> so after 30 minutes, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna call the electrical company because, uh, 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 you know, because, because, uh, you know, because it is a storm, something could have blown. Call them up. Look, like, yes, a, a transformer blew in your back. They actually knew. They're like a transformer blew in your backyard. Cause I call, you know, give them my um, information. Send their customer. They're like, yeah, we already got a team uh, out there that, uh, you know, the actually it was a. Uh, they sent the. They actually sent the team to cut to cut the branches and stuff to trim the tree down. They didn't cut the tree down. They just trimmed the branches and stuff out of the way. And then like, uh, after they left an hour or so later, a, a, an actual electrical company uh, uh, guy showed up. You know, he's, he's official, you knows uh, the company logo on the truck and everything. The guy looked official. <laughs> he had all the gears hanging off of him. He's like, yeah, I'm here, I'm here to replace the transformer. And it, and it was, by that time, it was, it was already dark. And it was like this. You know, it was, it was, uh, it was already dark. You know, he had his big old uh, floodlight. Uh, uh, with him, they hung off of his, you know, he, he literally hung around his neck and was coming off of his chest. It's like, hey man, that's pretty cool, man. <laughs> you know, 
He's like, yeah, I love these, man. They're super bright. He has the uh, LED. No, every flashlight these days is LED. You know, if you still got one of the old bulb flashlight, they're not expensive. And they're all made in China. You know, even the, even the expensive uh, 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 Glide, I think, or Gleed, or GLED. Even the expensive stuff is made in China, so you might as well just spend your 10, 20 bucks. It's, it's like a, you know, a, 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 you'll get a package of two or three, and they're nice, and they're, they're nice and bright. They don't eat up, surprisingly, because it is LED. They don't eat up that much uh, battery life. Uh, they're, they're super bright, and a lot of them are now the tactical uh, flashlight, where it's got like the, uh, the little ridges on the front of the lens where you can use it to... Uh, break glass and things like that yeah so if you, so if you still got bulb flashlights <laughs> dude you know spend the 10 bucks you know uh, or 20 <clears throat> get an LED flashlight you know they're cheap now I remember uh, 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 when they first came out they were like you know easily 50 100 bucks you know I bought some coast that's another, that's another uh, brand name they're expensive uh, I think Coast makes a, uh, a, 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 a HID flashlight actually, which is a bulb, but it but it burns like a but it burns like a really bright, really hot gas. That, that, that's what H, HIDs bulbs. It is a bulb, but it burns like a, 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 a really hot gas or a really bright gas. <clears throat> I wanted one, but I wasn't going to pay five hundred bucks <laughs> not for a flashlight. Now, if I was, you know, a, 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 you know, a contractor, which is probably what that guy was that came to fix the, uh, the transformer, <clears throat> and I could use it as a tax write-off, yeah, I would definitely buy one. Yeah, but the one he had was like, <laughs> it was big. I mean, it looks like he hung around his neck. And, uh, it was nice and bright. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, he mentioned it was like, it was like a couple hundred bucks, too. So, I was like, oh, that's okay, man. I was, I was thinking my little... My little double A or triple A <clears throat> uh, uh, handheld flashlights, you know, for home use. That's all you really need. Uh, a couple of a couple of LED, uh, uh, you know, uh, lamps that stands. So when you do like today, you know, when the power goes out, luckily it was during the daytime. wasn't It wasn't quite nighttime yet. So there was still light in the house as long as the windows are open. You know, if you went to like an in a interior, uh, like a bathroom, interior uh, bathroom, which I have, <clears throat> then you need a flashlight. So that's that's local news. And again, they didn't say what caused the outage. So uh, <clears throat> yes, there's a hurricane. Is that is that a hurricane things pronounced hurricane. Hurricane Fiona. That's uh, I guess the I guess there's one that that's actually hitting east coast of Canada. There's another that's hitting Florida. And of course, Florida. If you live in Florida, if you live in the east coast, even even I, I guess even as far up as Canada, you know, you're you're I guess I guess you should have like a a a a, 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 a some sort of a prep kit, <laughs> some sort of a. Uh, survival kit that uh, if you do decide to stay and whether the hurricane have enough water for at least two weeks food for two weeks the water and food you know a battery a uh, a uh, a solar I guess a solar battery bank which I actually have and at least the, the one I bought it wasn't a it was a it was a Chinese one you know because well, they're all made in China but it was one of those expensive brand name ones or it's like a hundred $200. Uh, mine was a cheapy $50 one that I got off of either eBay or Amazon. But surprisingly, that one, I tested it. I, I've completely drained the battery, stuck it in the sun. Uh, of course, the little note that came with it said, you know, try it. If, if, if it's like a summer, if it's like really hot sun, like summertime, where it's like, you know, 90 to 100 degree, try to not put it in direct sunlight. And uh, which I which I ignored. <laughs> I stuck it in. Maybe I, I stuck it in direct sunlight. Uh, 
or in the intense direct sunlight. But at least mine, it took four hours to uh, 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 completely charge up in the sun, the battery bank. So I was like, hey, this is impressive. And of course, you know, I used it to charge up the phone and, uh, and uh, I was able to uh, do like a two, two and a half charge on my Samsung phone. So yeah, so, so it was actually, I would, say, I would say that was a good deal for 50 bucks for a solar battery bank. So that's hurricane news. Uh, and of course today's Tuesday was uh, Shinzo Abe's uh, state funeral. And I guess, and I guess it, it must have been the opposition party who came out and opposed the state funeral. And I guess the last time Japan had a state funeral for a PM who passed away was back in 1967. I don't know what happened to that dude. But, but yeah, but since so he was, he was assassinated. You know, assassinated, murdered. <clears throat> of course, the guy he uh, he he used a homemade double barrel shotgun. Uh, he used both rounds, so he didn't have any extra rounds. To, you know, I guess if he was going to take himself out, <laughs> you know. You know, maybe you know, maybe if he decided to take a knife and slit his own throat or something, I don't know. But uh, <clears throat> he's going to get a, a quick trial and execution, uh, and uh, and yes, and Japan is known for quick trials and execution. Uh, the 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 Akiharaba uh, mass stabbing murder guy who killed like a. I think he was wounded. I think he wounded something like 16 and killed 12 people with a knife. He just ran up. It's Akira, he did it during the weekend. You know, you go to during the weekend, it's shoulder to shoulder. So he didn't even have to chase anybody down. He just walked down the street and just started stabbing people because you know, you're packed shoulder to shoulder. Uh, they closed down the streets <coughs> in certain sections to where uh, cars, because because it, it's so packed with people, well, cars can't uh, go in. Uh, you know, maybe bikes. Scooters, but yeah, but he yeah he got the, he got a fast trial and execution, and the guy who uh, assassinated or uh, murdered Abe he's going to get the same he's going to get the same fast track. So yeah, so the folks who were uh, like I said, they're probably opposition party people. They were saying, hey man, state funerals are reserved. For the emperor and the emperor only and of course that's just an excuse like i say if you check the last time they they had a state funeral for a prime minister in, in japan was back in 1967 so they've you know they they've had it before and yes and 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 uh, and, and abe was the longest uh surprisingly you know he only served like eight years 2012 to 2020 so he only served like the Eight years. Who's basically a, a two-term president? A, a two-term president, and <clears throat> he was the longest-serving Japanese prime minister. Which tells me the Japanese like to flip. You know, it's like <clears throat> it's like if, if you get in as a prime minister, well, yeah, you better do a good job. You know, Japanese people are going to flip. Well, actually, it wasn't until 2016 uh, the, the 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 Japanese people actually. <clears throat> Actually got maybe that's why Abi got voted in a second time. So it wasn't until 2016 that the Japanese people actually got a a, a choice to vote in an election. Uh, I guess I guess prior to that the the prime minister was chosen by the elites. Uh, they were chosen by by uh, <clears throat> I guess by the uh, by the parties <clears throat> who were in parliament. So maybe that's why Abe got in on a second term because the people put him in. So I guess in 2012 he was put in by by the Japanese Parliament, and in 2016 he was actually voted in by the people. <clears throat> I guess he lost to uh, this. I guess yeah, I don't know, starts, the current prime minister. I guess it starts with an H. I uh, forget his name. Anyways, <clears throat> so of course Abe was on the campaign trail he's going to run he's going to run again for uh, i guess the uh, 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 uh he's going to run again for prime minister for the office of prime minister and of course uh, 
you know, he, he got uh, he got struck down <laughs> by this crazy lunatic who, uh, so basically the, the, the guy's reasoning was that Abe uh, supports the, uh, the, 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 uni the unification church. I have no idea what, what the unification church is. Uh, I know Japan is a nation of, uh, of uh, Shinto and Buddhist. Yeah, Shinto and Buddhism, it's, it's like a mix. It's, it's kind of the Japanese version of Buddhism. Kind of like in, kind of like in the, you know, Southeast Asia with uh, Vietnam, Thailand. Laos and Cambodia, their their, their, Buddha, their, their Buddhism is, is a little bit different different from from the Shinto Buddhism. You can say it's kind of like a you know, you know Baptist, Methodist, Catholic, different uh, different flavors of uh, of Christianity. Buddhism's got their different different flavor. But it seems this guy uh, didn't like that Abe supported this this unification church. And again, I don't know. You know uh, too much about this unification church, uh, <clears throat> but this guy didn't. This guy didn't like it enough that Abe supports this unification church. That you know he you know plotted plotted for like a uh, you, know, <clears throat> you know. I mean he he. I'm pretty sure he took to the internet, <clears throat> looked up how to make you know homemade gunpowder. You know looked up how to make a homemade uh, I guess double barrel shotgun. I'm pretty sure it wasn't something that took like a month. It probably took him, you know, months, if not a year. <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah, so, so it was today. It, uh, of course, the U.S. sent Kamala Harris, the cackling hyena. I guess she wanted to go. Uh, I guess Biden, uh, uh, I guess they didn't, I guess they didn't clean his blood enough over the weekend. Or maybe they were busy cleaning his blood over the weekend. <laughs> you know, they're like, "Oh, hey, look, we're, we're still cleaning. We're still cleaning Biden's blood." Could you, uh... yeah? And at Biden's age, you know, he he's probably on some sort of a dialysis. You know, because because old people, uh, when you get old, uh, even even if you're not even if you're not overweight, uh, uh, you know, even if you don't have uh, other uh, uh, morbidities. You know, diabetes just diabetes just catches up with you, <clears throat> and, and once you get it, you no, know, even if you lose weight, uh, you know, because because uh, my mom she she goes to dialysis, and sometimes I will take her if she can't drive herself, and if you look at the people there, the old folks there, they're all thin, e e either either they, they listen to a doctor's order and lost weight. Cause that's the first thing the doctor will tell you, you know, is to uh, if you got uh, you know symptoms symptoms of diabetes. The first thing the doctor will tell you is that hey, lose some weight, you know, change your diet, you know, cut off cut out sugar, especially coke. Uh, that's the one thing that I had a hard time. I had a hard time cutting. Now, I'm not diabetic. So I had I had my uh, physical back in February. I guess a few more months here. Uh, I guess we might, I guess I have to. Get my yearly physical again. Uh, my A1C was uh, is is within the level for my age. So basically, if your A1C is under six, so when you get your physical report and you look at your A1C and it's under six, <clears throat> then you're not diabetic. Uh, for for young people, healthy healthy young people, your A1C should be around three to three and a half. Older folks, uh, you're, you know, if you can keep it around three and a half, uh, but older folks who are non-diabetics are probably gonna be around, you know, four, which is where I was. Yeah, hey, I'm giving away my health information. It's okay. <laughs> I'll give that much, I guess. So yeah, uh, and of course, at my age, you know, uh, giving up the the uh, uh, sugary drinks was was the hardest. I still drink diet and and the uh, zero, so diet no diet Dr Pepper diet Coke, the uh, the zero no those those actually have no zero no sugar in them. Uh, diet Cokes have have a, a saccharin or some sort of a a, a fake sugar in them, uh, to where the uh, zero the the zero sugar drinks actually have no sugar not even not even the fake sugar. Yeah, I know. Just drink water, man. 
uh, I have my uh, I have my gummies, which uh, which of course you know uh, um, I dip into, which I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> but yeah, but basically you uh, uh, even young people have I I, I I didn't know what it was all this time, but it's basically hypoglycemia. It's it's when your blood sugar gets low. Uh, for non for non for non diabetics, uh, if it gets below seventy, uh, 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 the way you feel, I guess it's for young because young folks get it too. I remember I remember like like even even in my twenties, uh, you know you're 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 at work or you get off of work and you're like ah oh, man I'm I'm super tired, I'm super hungry. You know you, you know, your hand you, you get the shakes in your hand. That's hypoglycemia. You need to you know eat something. Or, or 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 just pop a couple of gum, pop a couple of gummies. They uh, yeah I'm, I guess I'm getting off subject. Yeah, they do make uh, sugar tablets for 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 uh, for diabetics. Yes, diabetics also get hypoglycemia. Uh, but for diabetic folks, it's it's actually double bad if 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 their blood sugar gets low. Yeah, blood sugar gets blood sugar blood, high blood sugar is bad. But for for diabetic folks, low blood sugar is also bad. Uh, you can uh, if it gets too low, basically if it gets below ninety, uh, you you need to again pop a couple of gummies, or just pop a uh, uh, a, a real can of Coke. You know, take a couple of gulps. <clears throat> uh, have um. Have some orange juice, or have a can of Coke, or have those uh, those uh, sugar tablets, or some gummy bears on your nightstand next to your bed, so that you can just reach over because you're, because when it when when it hits you, you're you're super tired. But of course, a young person is, is not going to be as affected as say you know a seventy year old grandma who's got diabetes and uh, hypoglycemia hits hits. You know you you're not going to be like a young person where a young person can actually still get up. Go get a go to the kitchen, you know, and 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 get a drink of Coke or something like that. To a you know seventy year old person, and they you know they may not when it hits, they may not be able to even even get out of bed. And next thing you know, it you know they get a heart attack, and they pass away. And and some people have passed away in their sleep from from hypoglycemia, especially diabetics. <clears throat> so, yes, I do have family members who are diabetic and. Uh, <clears throat> had to you no know, battle hypoglycemia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it even correctly. And, and yes, you know they, they all got their little stash of sugars, and it is tempting. So you know, so I guess, so I guess the sugar tablets are probably. So you probably want to get something that's not um, that's not tempting. You know, because a uh, some. Uh, uh, gummy bears are probably tempting, so I probably wouldn't, you know, if I were you, I wouldn't get gummy bears. Uh, but the, the sugar tablets are not, they're not to me, they're not tempting. They don't taste good. So, so I, I, ha I have like a little <clears throat> pack of it on my nightstand in case. Uh, again, I'm not diabetic, but you know, in the middle of the night. <clears throat> Anyways, so we got that topic. So yeah, so Abe got a state funeral. It's, it's costing estimated eleven million, and of course the uh, the opposition uh, they they don't like it. Hey man, why don't your why don't the I don't know what party Abe is part of, but he, they're like, why don't you guys flip the bill the eleven million dollars instead of having taxpayers pay for it? You know, it's like, hey, if it's your dude, you know, if it's your dude, then you guys probably have no problem, you know, having taxpayers flip for it. And again, I guess Kamala Harris wanted to go. Maybe she likes Japan. I don't know. Uh, I mean, from from uh, either way you go from from DC to J from DC to Japan is is, is about a twenty hour flight. Uh, rather rather she flies. It's probably it's probably easier to fly from DC to the West Coast because because from because from because uh, from San Francisco. Uh, to to Tokyo is, is is about is about a 15 hour flight. So you no know, DC DC to San Francisco is I think seven hours or is it five hours or seven hours something like that. 
Because I know from New Jersey to Dallas, which I've flown a few times on business trips, is about a five hour flight. Was it three hours? Three, I think it's three hours. Anyways, three to five hours. I think it's three hours. Anyways. Alright, so, so we're closing on um, <clears throat> the Ukraine thing. <clears throat> and Nord Stream pipelines. So basically, the. Uh, <clears throat> The referendum for the four breakaway states uh, is pretty much going through. So you got Lugansk, uh, see if I'm pronouncing it correctly, uh, Donetsk province, the uh, Zavarov, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and the uh, Herson. So the K is silent. I've been calling it Kherson, but listening to uh, uh, you know, the Russian folks pronounce it, it's the, the K is silent, so it's pronounced Herson, like her, H-E-R. And I think all along this was what Putin was trying to get was to uh, was to push Ukraine out of those out of those areas, and then have the referendum, and uh, have those territories. <coughs> Basically, the, basically those territories will now because will now become buffers uh, for uh, <coughs> for the Russian Federation. So at this point, so so after this, if Ukraine wants to join NATO, I guess they they can now that now that Putin and Russia has got their buffer territory. No, he's not going to give up Crimea either. Yeah, and today was the last day of the referendum voting, and it is. Uh, voting in person, and unless you're uh, too old, or if you're in an area where there's a lot of Ukrainian shelling, uh, they'll, they'll they'll have people, I guess, drive to your, uh, I guess, official folks with military escort, <laughs> you know, drive to your apartment or to your house where you can vote, and then they'll take your votes back to the uh, voting center. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, I'm gonna take the band off. Yeah, I'm about halfway through, so yeah, this cigar is light. I have no problem, you know, sitting here puffing on it and enjoying myself. And, that, and that's what it should be. You should be, you know, enjoying yourself you know, when you smoke the cigar. Um, I'm really not a, uh, well, of course, when I first started cigars, I bought nothing but Maduros. And uh, I found that, hey, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't really handle Maduros. You know, I can handle medium and light cigars. There are some, uh, I guess, older dudes who smoked for a while. That's all they smoke are Churchill-sized Maduros. Yeah, I'm taking double puffs. I should be taking triple puffs, just to keep the, uh, just to keep the ash from falling. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm positioning my leg here or my feet here so it doesn't fall on my feet. So, yeah. So it looks like the. Uh, so after, so after today, I guess all of the uh, the votes will be uh, tallied. Well, the votes the votes are already tallied. Uh, it will be then sent, I guess, to Moscow, where the the uh, uh, Russian Parliament will, uh, I guess, formalize it. Uh, paperwork will be sent will then be sent to Putin. He signs it. So I'm thinking by Friday, those four territories will be officially uh, 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 Russia. And yes, and as for the three hundred thousand troops that uh, Putin called up, so Russia has Russia's kind of like a South Korea. They have a uh, mandatory, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, 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 for young men eighteen to twenty-five. Uh, so you got so you got between eighteen to twenty-five that that little like seven-year time frame uh, to go do your your uh, uh, military duty. So this, so they have. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's not really well, it's not really force because because I, I know in South Korea if daddy's got money or if daddy's a politician you know you you you, know, you, you can either pay your way out of the uh, military service I don't know about Russia but uh, I'm, I'm a little bit more familiar with South Korea's uh, 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 I guess uh, service yeah so Russia has. Yeah, so Russia basically, yeah, and basically once you serve your, your two years, I think in South Korea it's one, uh, it's 16 months, so it's like, a, I guess, a year and four, or is it 18 months, 16, 18 months, I think Russia is two years. So basically once you come out, you're now, you're now a reservist, so, so uh, 
like in the U.S., if you join the U.S. military, uh, and uh, you know, once you leave, let's say you let's say you're you join you when you're 19 and you have your and you do a four-year tour, so now you're out around 23. Uh, you you are basically a uh, a reserve, a reserve of the reserve. Uh, so you're basically set as a reserve until I think 36. So if uh, so if a war were to break out, and uh, they had to call up the veterans, you know that's uh, uh, you know so 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 if, if if our national guards, our reservists got called up, and you know we're still getting our ass kicked. And now they got to call up the veterans, you know, the uh, retired military, retired from the military. Uh, that that's that would be our version. So basically, in in Russia, yeah, once you do your your two years of mandatory military service, you then put on reserve. I don't know how long, you know, you know till you're well, I don't know, let's say forty. Yeah. So these are the guys who are being called up. The three hundred thousand. The 300,000 uh, soldiers that are being called up are, uh, are, are you know, uh, I guess when I was reading, the, uh, I guess the news, RT News, yeah, you can go to the, yeah, you can still go to the website, the websites are still, uh, if you use Google to find RT, you won't find them, you'll have to use some other uh, search engine or, or something to find uh, the uh, RT's news site, but they are on Rumble and Odyssey, so if you, know, so if you want to, you know, you want to check out their videos, check out on Rumble and Odyssey. Yeah, and they kept calling, so on RT News, they kept calling veterans. They kept saying, oh, yeah, Putin's calling up uh, you know, uh, Russian veterans, the, the, the 300,000 are veterans who are, uh, are being called up, so it's not a conscript. No, they're not pulling guys off of the street. <clears throat> they go serve. Yeah, so, this, so, this, so these veterans that they're calling up are basically these guys who served their two years of mandatory military service, now they're back, you know, in the. Uh... So now they're back in, uh, you know, uh, civilian life, but a war breaks out and uh, they're being called back up. So these are basically Russia's version of, I guess, reservist. It's kind of kind of South Korea. It's, uh, <clears throat> you know, if a war breaks out between North and South Korea, all of those guys that uh, <clears throat> that uh, I guess did the. Uh, Mandatory military service would be called up, and uh, yes, and since and since they served in the military, they are technically veterans. Same thing, e even if it's even if it's even if it's mandatory military service, now you once you're out, you're still a veteran. So that's why I was like, why the heck RT keep calling these guys veterans? They're calling up three hundred thousand veterans. They're not conscripting. Uh, uh, no, they're not conscripting. It's it's not draft. Uh, <clears throat> So I was like, okay. Yes, yeah, most and most of these, uh, like, like in South Korea, you know, the, the guy that does their 16 month or 18 month, uh, uh, you know, they go to boot camp, and they pretty much just sit around. Yeah, I got some Korean buddies. They're like, yeah, we we, <laughs> we don't do nothing. We just sit around. You know, <clears throat> damn crickets. It's like a high-pitched buzzing noise, and uh, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a, 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 a cricket or if it's a cadeted. I think it might be a cadeted, but it's really annoying. It's like a high pitch, <clears throat> high-pitched noise, and uh, if you sit out here long enough, you'll notice it. It'll just get on your nerve. And of course, you know CNN, uh, even the uh, supposed based. Uh, news groups on YouTube, you know, the, oh, oh, Putin is saying that he regrets, uh, uh, he regrets the uh, 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 the military mobilization. Uh, Russians are Russians are fleeing Russia. It's like no Russians aren't fleeing. You know, <clears throat> now Russians aren't fleeing Russia. Uh, 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 if anything, Putin may scale back the three hundred thousand that he called up. Uh, uh, but uh, no, but Putin is not regretting. Uh, the thing is that there, you know, there's, there's, you know, there's four territories now that that's um, entering Russia, and they're going to need some sort of a, some sort of a military defense. So basically, all of the militiamen who are in Lugansk, uh, uh, Donetsk, and all those other territories, 
the militiamen become, uh, I guess, part of the Russian military. So they're they're, they're no longer they're no longer militiamen, but they're actually now Russian soldiers. <clears throat> or will be. Yeah. So so you know, and I recommend checking out news on both sides. You know, check out CNN, see what they're saying. Uh, uh, check out some of the supposed uh, based conservative uh, news outlets on YouTube and see what they're saying. Uh, and then check out RT, because they're not on YouTube anymore. Uh, there are some uh, private civilian, uh, uh, private funded, like, uh, uh, I guess, what's his name? Is it, is it, is it Richard Lancaster? Ah, don't forget his name. I'm subscribed to him, so if you look at my subscribe list, you know, he, you know, he'll be on there. Uh, he's one of those guys that I guess moved to. Uh, 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 I guess, I guess he, he's an American citizen. I guess he moved to Russia. Uh, he's got Russian wife and kids, so he's so yeah. So he's got a you know, so he's got a stake. So check out his channel, and yeah, and he's like, hey, look, man, the Russian people ain't fleeing Russia, because again, it's not Putin's not conscripting. They're not drafting. So you know, uh, and, and even if he was. Russians still aren't going to be fleeing Russia. Uh, and of course, Hungary. Richard Orban, you know, that Hungary is giving visas uh, to Russian citizens to go visit Russia. Uh, of course, he came. Richard, uh, 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 Victor Orban, you know, he actually came here to Dallas to the CPAC, uh, I think in July, um, when the CPAC came through Dallas. And he actually spoke. Man, I, you know, I wish I knew. I would have tried. I, would, I probably wouldn't have gotten in. So it's probably best that I just stayed at home and watched. So he came and spoke at CPAC here in Dallas. <clears throat> and of course, he's going to. Uh, of course, he's 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 asking. First, he's asking. Uh, I don't know if Hungary's part of the EU or they're just part of NATO. I think they're part of the EU. So he's asked, so he's asking the EU, hey, let's you know, we want to so he's asked permission first, hey, we want to lift Hungary ourselves. Hungary wants to lift sanctions with Russia. And uh, and uh, you know, and of course the EU is saying no, you can't. And I have a feeling, you know, Viktor Orban is gonna be like, well, screw you guys, we're we're lifting the sanctions anyways. Go to hell, you know, kind of thing. So, uh, let's see, and of course, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, check out news on both sides. <clears throat> You'll find that the news are conflicting, and it's up to you. Yeah, check out the ash, man. It's that's about two inches of ash, and it hasn't fallen. Cause I have been puff, I have been puffing pretty, uh, pretty regularly. You know, at least a double puff. Like I said, I should be doing a triple. So, of course, Nord Stream two. And one Nord Stream one and two, no, not Nordstrom the store, but Nord Stream. So it seems both of the pipelines, uh, 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 I guess, going through the, uh, I guess, the Baltic Sea. So both of the pipelines going through the Baltic Sea uh, 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 burst and and uh, and uh, and ruptured. And yes, there are there are videos of it. It is on YouTube. And you can see all of the gas bubbling up. And of course, you don't want to get close because that, that that is a natural gas, and you'll be feeling sleepy. You'll be, you know, then you'll be you'll be dead. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, if someone likes someone. You know, I'm jokingly, of course. You know, uh, so someone light a cigarette, and you know the whole thing goes up. <coughs> And yes, uh, natural gas. <coughs> I'm getting a water. Natural gas fires will burn underwater. Kind of like the uh, the something horizon that that happened in uh, <coughs> the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, do I was called something something horizon? Yeah, that one was a. Uh, 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 I guess it started with, uh, I guess, the, the uh, natural gas pipe bursting underwater, and uh, I guess the flames came up through the pipes onto the platform, caught the platform on fire. 
So yes, natural gas will burn underwater. Um, uh, water does have oxygen in it. Uh, just like chemical fires, if your EV car catches on fire, uh, the, the strange, the weird thing is that uh, water won't put it out. Chemicals won't put it out. Uh, they're, they're, they're having to literally, in some cases, let the car burn. Uh, just let it sit wherever in, in the street, in the parking lot. In, a, in a, I guess in one case, it was uh, one of those uh, electric Jaguar. I didn't know a Jaguar even. Yeah, I mean, like the last company I would buy an EV from would be Jaguar. You know, they're known for bad electronics. So now you're buying an electronic car from a company that's known for having bad electronics. And yes, the guy had his Jaguar parked. Luckily, it wasn't in his garage, but it was in his driveway. You know, the, the battery caught fire. And uh, uh, and uh, the, the, you know, the fire crew couldn't put it out. They just, they just let it burn. They're like, screw this. We're just going to let it burn in your driveway. <laughs> you know? And... Uh, no, I think they dragged it. They dragged it out, uh, uh, back away from his house a little bit, like to where it was the driveway and the street meets, and they let his uh, his his uh, electric his electric Jaguar burn up right there until it, you know until the fuel is spent. And uh, <clears throat> and I'm assuming now I assume most folks who own EVs, whether it be a Tesla, you know, or, or a GM or a Leaf, that you guys park your car in the garage. And, and you know, and, and while you're charging it, because I, I wouldn't trust running a, you know, a 50 foot cable, you know, outside of my, like from my backyard or something, to the driveway, you know, and plug in my and plug in my car in the driveway. At the one, I don't know how rainproof that is. You know, if it's a rainy season, it is, it is, you know, if, uh, you know, is, is 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 that I'm assuming the plug is probably water water waterproof not water resistant so if you're charging it and so if you're charging it in the rain you know like most folks your garage is full so you know your garage basically doubles as your storage <clears throat> so you don't so you can't park your car in there so if you got an ev you gotta you gotta you know plug it up in the driveway and uh, and if it's raining you know if it's downpouring you know uh, I, I guess you'll be out there with an umbrella trying to trying to plug in the uh Trying to plug in the plug and hopefully no water gets in, because uh, I because I assume if water does get in, it, it probably is going to affect the charging. And again, I got no problem with EVs. I thought about getting one, and I and I seriously looked into, you know, specifically Tesla. And, and that's and that's why I made all these realizations. Like, uh, hey, getting a getting a Tesla is not really worth, uh, you know, it's not really worth my money, and uh, it ain't worth the headache. You know, and, and of course, there's the. Uh, I guess those, I guess a couple, of incident that's made news, such as the, uh, uh, the ho ho Hollywood starlet, who bought it, who bought a Tesla, and her batteries conked out, in her Tesla, and they want they wanted her to pay twelve thousand dollars for a uh, for a new, uh, for a new set of batteries. So I guess all seven thousand of her batteries went bad. That that that's bad luck. And yes, if you ever have, and usually, and usually with uh, like like electrical tools, because I'm, I'm familiar with recharging electrical, you know, rechargeable uh, tools, <coughs> is that usually one, <coughs> one or two, of your uh, of your battery inside of your of your battery compartment for your rechargeable drill <coughs> will usually go bad. And of course, an indication of that is that you know, it doesn't it, it shows to be charged up. Uh, of course, with the newer, smarter batteries, they they will actually tell you, hey, you know, bank one, bank two is bad. <clears throat> it will still show charged up fully, but when you use your drill, is it, you know, you you'll know that, hey, you know, this drill is only going for ten minutes before it dies. That means you know, most of your battery banks in your battery compartment is 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 dead. And you need to go spend another two hundred bucks on a new battery. Yes, and, and if you ever decide to go buy, say, a Dewalt. You know, or 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 a uh, or a uh, what's the one? A uh, 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 Craftsman, I guess. Dewalt is the is the popular one. You know, the uh, the tool itself 
or the drill, or whatever tool you're going to buy, angle grinder, that's not expensive. What is expensive is the freaking battery. And my suggestion is, is to wait for like uh, Thanksgiving, uh, uh, Christmas or New Year's when they have a, uh, a cell where, where uh, you get the tool and you get two batteries. Or, or, or it's like, you know, 30 or 50% off sale and then buy it. And, uh, but the batteries themselves are never on sale. So if you need a new battery, you might as well just wait until a, uh, there's a sale and just buy a new drill and battery set. Yeah, and a lot of these will come with, uh, you know, two batteries. Those are the ones I recommend getting is the, uh, you know, the, the tool with two batteries. one bug because if you get like a really big battery like, like a four like a four uh four ampage or what's it milliamps it's m a it's, it's m a h so milliamps so if you get like a four milliamp battery it's freaking big and it's heavy i recommend just getting two two milliamp batteries yeah there you go this was the that two and a half inch before it fell so i'm down to the nub yeah, so unfortunately, uh, you, you European folks with the, uh, and of course, you now the 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 the, uh, uh, the theories are going around that it's been sabotage, or sabotage. I can never say that word. So some people are saying yes, it's been sabotaged by the U.S. or it's been sabotaged by by NATO. So uh, yeah, so they want. You know, so the globalists wants the people of Europe to freeze. So at this point, it's like, well, you know, Nord Stream 1 and 2 is out of commission. And uh, winter's fast coming. Uh, like I said, like here, like here in Texas, man, at, at, you know, night times now are like really cool. I mean, I'm not sweating at all. I've been sitting out here smoking like crazy, talking like crazy. And, uh, you know, no sweat, not even a bead. Now, if I get up and start doing jumping jacks, yeah, I'll start sweating. Put this little... To put the nub down. Hey, little puppy. Yeah, she's out here gnawing on her bone. <clears throat> what are you doing? Oh. Looking for bugs? Yeah, she's looking for bugs. Oh, so. <clears throat> yeah, so the folks, have, yeah, so at this point, you really got no choice. Uh, like I said, when elect like, like today, when the electricity goes out, you're you're you're. You know, luckily, I have my gas grill, you know, so if I needed to cook, <clears throat> you know, could have grilled some some uh, some some hamburger patties. Uh, I do have a side burner, so if I needed to boil some noodle, make me some ramen, I could have. But uh, <clears throat> but basically, yeah, when when elect when electricity goes out. Uh, you're literally back to the Stone Ages, <laughs> you know. Uh, no, luckily my uh, my cell phones are always fully charged when when I'm at home. I do have my battery banks, which uh, I let sit most of the time. But uh, now that the uh, 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 power went out, I'm gonna have to, I guess, plug them up and charge them up to uh, to full. One of them was at like 50 percent. Another one was down to like 80. So I need to get them charged back up <clears throat> in case we do lose power again. <clears throat> I can at least keep my phone charged. Uh, but yeah, when power goes out, man, you you know the uh, you know we, we make fun of the folks in the third world countries that are still using. Yeah, there are still folks who are cooking with wood stove, wood uh, or wood over, or, 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 or just basically campfire, you know, just a pile of wood with a pot on top. And, and yeah, these are folks in, there, there are some folks in parts of Asia, Philippines, in Vietnam, uh, parts of Thailand, uh, Laos, Cambodia, uh, where, you know, where, where these are, you know, these are country folks, you know, they're, you know, folks, out, if you go into the big cities, it's going, they're going to have either electrical or gas, gas stove. Uh, but if you go out to the countryside, folks are still cooking with wood. You know, those folks are going to be fine. You know, it's us folks and who's living in, in the big cities, and it's us folks who are, you know, used to uh, modern convenience that are going to starve, you know, not going to know what to do. You know, if you got, if you have to have a, uh, 
if you happen to have a propane grill or with a with a, with a side burner, you know you'll you'll probably be okay when it comes to cooking food. Uh, if it happens if it happens during the winter time, you're you're kind of screwed. You're gonna you know you're you're uh, you're gonna freeze. So that's what's gonna happen to you guys in Europe. So uh, hey, enjoy your smoke, enjoy your cigar. Yeah, this, I really enjoyed this nub. It's, like I said, I'm smoking it down to the nub, and it, and it is beginning to uh, <clears throat> have a sort of a bitter taste to it. Which is what will happen with cigars, because when you smoke it down, everything gets, uh, all of the nicotine and all of the stuff gets, you know, gets pushed up into the cigar towards the head. So when you get towards the nub, it does, it does have like a slight ting or slight bitterness to it now that is down to the nub. Yeah, this is like, this is like an inch, so I need to put this, put it out. <clears throat> yeah, so enjoy your cigar, enjoy your cigarette. For those of you who still smoke, and I, I, yeah, the, I guess the, uh, I guess everyone, every, you know, pretty much every cigarette smokers have switched over to vapes. <clears throat> Weed was legal. Uh, don't do illegal drugs. <laughs> vapes, you know, where you can still get vapes. And uh, thanks for watching.